already a mad Beatles fan by then. So, uh, mm. yeah. So my uncle liked me. You know, I kind of turned up and you know, got to know him through that. He was a multi-millionaire through playing the guitar. And uh, he bought her a house down in the south of England and had it landscaped and furnished and uh, showed her the house. And inside he'd also had a plaque on the wall that said, the guitar's okay, John but you'll never make a living uh, playing the guitar. So he couldn't resist that touche moment. Um, it's the second house. It depends how famous, I suppose, you know? Yeah, I know, it's going to depend on who likes you or whatever. But um, yeah, so it's, it's an incredibly important house, really, for John, because it's the house that he lived in. Hey, I got a movie going here. <laughs> oh. Two up, uh, two, two down, down. Two, down. two rooms. Yeah, the up, other thing is two that, rooms um, down. Down we, Ringo Street, Madrin, and Dingle. It was his dad's birthday, and uh, he had to be home for his dad's birthday. Okay, well, here we go. Here we go. So you've been to John's, and uh, um, but originally. This would have all belonged to a farm, all of this land, including the house next door. Oh. And when they went to sell bits of it off, this is probably the field where they grew strawberries. So they called it Strawberry Field. How logical is that? Not knowing that 150 years later, John Lennon would be in Spain in Almeria, missing home, thinking of his childhood. There you have it, the old house would have been a gothic one, um, but all that remains today are the 